So again, what did we do? We had this particle that was being affected by these other two particles. Uh, the blue one, the plus pushed it down, the minus pulled it to the left. Uh, so then we just are looking for where that force is. And we know it's 45 degrees south of east because these two forces have the same magnitude. Then the second part of the problem said, if we give that a five meter per second initial velocity to the left, what's gonna happen? Before we even go on, just look at the vectors and see the difference. The red and the blue and the green are the, the force vectors. Uh, the yellow is the velocity. So you see the red is going to slow down the yellow. Does that make sense to you? Right? It's going to retard it. It's going to make it shorter. Um, and the blue doesn't have to compete with anything. So it's going to push it down. Okay? And we know, so we know that the final product here is going to be somewhere in the third quadrant. Does that make sense to you? Because it's being pushed down by this positive charge up here, and it's being pulled back by this negative. But the amount of time that they stipulate is so small that it doesn't really have a chance, even though it's a pretty big acceleration, it doesn't have a chance to really pull it back into any of the other quadrants. Okay, and we can see here, calculated everything in the so I used these two equations with my givens to come up with uh, my position and my velocity in the x direction after that time. Then over here, I used in the white, I, used, I calculated my y. Over here, again, I used the same two equations, noting that I got rid of the v0 because there's no velocity in the vertical sense. Then that gives me uh, my velocity here and my position, please note this velocity is zero or is negative there. Okay, and then of course I can add those two. I can add and this velocity to get this final velocity, which has no units. That's terrible. Uh, and then this this well, I, actually the positions I could have just taken that to find out where it is. The two positions, this one and this one, I could have added those together to find out where the the final positioning is. But uh, here, I went ahead and used the velocities to calculate the angle at which it's traveling. Okay? Sorry? I use inverse tangent. So I equals of 0.345, actually negative 0.345 meters per second, over negative 4.66 meters per second. All right?